hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see that how we can get the sum of all the nodes in linked list so basically we need to add 22 plus 3 plus 10 plus 13 plus 23 plus 6 and then we should return this sum right so what we will do we'll basically start from the head node and it will take a variable sum variable which value is starting at 0 right so at the starting sum equal to 0 now we keep on iterating the each node of linked list until it goes till end and we'll keep on adding the sum whenever we are iterating a node right so basically when we are starting from the head node at this at this case we'll say we'll check that whether node is null or not if node is null if node is not null then in this case add sum equal to sum plus whatever the value of the node and then increase the node to the next value right now again in this case we'll check that whether node is null or not it, it is still not null so we'll again add the sum equal to sum plus uh, node value so which is 22 plus 3 right so we'll do this until node is not null it means till end so whenever node is null it means we'll go out of the loop and we'll return the sum so this is how we'll follow this algorithm now there can be two cases uh, one negative test case can be there that let's say if we are passing null value and we are trying to find out that what is the sum of null so in this case we'll check at the starting that if our node is null so in this case we can simply return 0 and what is the time complexity so if you see that we are basically iterating the um, linked list in n times in big of n because we have n node so we are iterating n time so that is why our time complexity is big of n and space complexity is not that much because we are doing only single variables so space complexity is big of 1 so now let me show you that how we can do it through our code so here i have this linked list so i have created a linked list and and here i have uh, get sum of nodes my function where i'm passing the head node right so let me show you how i'm doing so like i explained that uh, this is for negative case that whenever our node is null in this case we'll simply return zero else we'll take a variable sum equal to zero and we'll keep on iterating that until node is not null if node is not null then add the sum equals to sum plus node of data and node equal to node of next right so this will go until the end and after that we'll simple return sum right so let me also show you through debug node that whether we are doing uh, correctly or not so here what will happen it will go here it will check node is not null it will initialize the sum variable it will keep on adding the value in the sum variable and at the last when node is null so it would return the sum right and if you print the sum it would give you answer 77 right and let's say for the negative test cases again you could check so let's say if you are passing null here so what would happen that it will go here it will check that if not equals to null then return 0 right so in this case we'll get the output of 0 so that's it guys about this video as we explained time complexity is big of n and if you have any doubts regarding this video so please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you